G'day gamers, Bob here. Welcome back to Snowed Over, that wonderful, wonderful map by uh, Dan Robs Probs, where you are on a flat world where it just snows and snows and snows and snows. And you have to fight to get resources. And I managed to get some moss blocks, as you can see from the azalea trees. I got some oak from the oak trees. And just recently, this dude turned up in that little sapling just there I got from him for a princely sum of five emeralds and that's about all i've really been doing i've built myself a little um berry farm that dirt monstrosity in the back is just my uh i go and hide there to, to whack mobs at night i managed to get an enderman and i got a well there's my well and that's pretty well it if you're not already subscribed to my channel chuck me a sub it would mean absolutely everything to, uh, to me and uh Give me a con comment at the end of the video once you finish watching it, of course. Uh, right, let's get to it. And I'm still using wood. And uh, there you go. Princely sum of five emeralds. I was talking for the idea of getting vines, but you know what? I don't think I will bother. But what I do need is a stack of timber. And uh, I'm growing my trees. Oh, bits. I'll go and pick these bits up. Waste not, want not, they say. Oh, I missed them. They despawned right as I got there. Oh, you guys saw that, didn't you? That's just cruel and rude. But we shall gather some more resources. Now, I am thinking that I want a mob farm. But I don't particularly want to build a monstrosity up in the sky. And the reason I need a mob farm to start... And that's the reason why I don't think I need to buy vines... Um, the reason I want a mob farm is to get lava in this game, you need mob drops. Um, you need a variety of different mob drops. So, I need to basically, is that, a, is that a derpy tree? No, it's not. I just need to make a mob farm so I can get the bits and pieces so I can make a lava block. So I can get cobble and all that wonderful, wonderful good stuff. Um, so I don't think it needs to be anything overly complicated. It just needs to be functional and... I'm thinking it doesn't have to be like 200 blocks up in the air. I'm thinking it can just be here on the ground. Uh, so I just want to grab some resources to do that and I shall be back. Unless something exciting happens. Right, I think I have enough resources to at least make... Ooh. Bad guys. I was about to run over there. I think I have enough resources to at least make a start. And I don't want to get deaded. So, come on, Mr. Zombert. Go and get me. Oh, here's some drops. I'll go get those. Never say no to free stuff. Oh, especially arrows. Since I have no way of getting arrows at the moment. There was a creeper zipping around out here. Is he gone? Oh, arrows. Go get those. Sometimes those pesky foxes steal the arrows. There we go. Got them, got them, got them. So... Have those creepers and zombies gone? The spider hasn't, but I'll get him. There we go. Take your bits. As you can see, I was cutting down some trees over here. Still got to make sure I collect the drops. I don't want to waste the saplings. Right, so where I think I might put this mob farm is not really not too far away from the base. I'm thinking over here. I should have made a shovel. Um, I'm going to chuck down a crafting table and make a shovel. And I really think I might just make it pseudo on the ground. Have to be a little bit over the ground, um, purely so that I can get drops. So if I make it so that 
ultimately I want to put a chest in. Okay, so I'll put a chest there. Actually, chest will probably go down there. This will be the killing spot. I want mobs to stand above that. And I'm going to want slabs or trapdoors here so that they can't see me, but I can kill them. Okay, so I will need a slab or two. So let's just make a couple of slabs. There we go. And we'll put the slab there. Okay, so we can whack the mobs here. Right. What we're going to want to do... I'm going to make some more timber. I'm going to make it so that my mobs are swept down into this area. Um... We might make use of our snow, because it is an abundant building block. And do that. Now, if I put water here, how far does it go? It goes to that point. One at one closer. So move that. One closer. So any mobs now will get swept to right in front of my little killing area. All right, I'm gonna need more water. And I'll pick up all my bits as I go. Pick up all my bits as I go. Don't lose the saplings. And we'll get some water. So we'll go over here. And... Just so it's even. There you go. Everything flows down there. We just want to make this a little bit higher so mobbages can't get out. Like that. Alrighty. So, how long is that? I can never remember. So that's one... So now I want to bring out this eight. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like that. There we go. And we'll just fill that in. And we'll just repeat the same on the other side. So we end up with two sort of platforms. Like that. I just need to whack a light source under there for the time being. Now because I want this to be not a very ugly build, Gonna add a little bit of sort of character to Ah oh, I fell in the water. Oh, it's cold, it's cold. And adding a little bit of character to it. Like that. And we'll just fill this side in. 
Might just need to plant some of these. Just so I've got them for later. Oh, food. We'll get that. And back to the build. And we'll just enclose this all up. And I just want to test that that water. Yep, exactly where I wanted it to go. Happy days. Go and get some more. Alright, so that one there. And that one there. That one there. That one there. And just keep spreading this across until we got the whole way. Nasty ice. Once I, I think once I've got a roof over this, I'll be right. Right, that's that all done. What I want to do now is just go up. So the idea is anything that falls into this area will be swept down into here and then swept. Ooh, that. Okay, so we don't want this one here. We want it here. That's oh, cold, 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 cold. Which means I need to get rid of these ones. Ah. Making a nice farm. Certainly what it looks like. Alrighty. So. Uh, I'll stop wasting my snow. And now I'm just building a wall around the farm. Alright, so what I want now is an area that mobs can fall into. It needs to be three high. One, two, three. So it needs to be there. And I want to be able to make a gap where I can put trapdoors. Um, I'm just not 100% sure yet how big. So I'm going to put that all the way along. What I would like is a two gap each side. And that's one two and we'll just expand that ever so slightly actually maybe that won't be it maybe i'll do this making up as i go people right and we'll do the same at the other end one two three one two three one two three Oh, another trader. G'day, mate. What do you got for us? Uh, -huh. uh sand, sugar cane. Actually, I will buy sugar cane because I don't have any. Thank you very much, Lee. Hmm. And we'll get ourselves back up here. This gives us spawning platforms for mobs. What I need to do now is put down trapdoors so the mobs actually think that there are a solid floors all the way along right gonna need more timber ow and let's finish it off
Let's hope that snow is not transparent. If it is, I'll be starting again. And I don't have any more snow. So, need to make some more shovels. We're going to need to cut down some more. What's that over there? Uh, not getting distracted. Something shiny. I'm going to have to make some more um, axes, I think, too. Because I'm going to need a lot of wood. All right, I now have a few more snowballs. Time to get back up the top and finish off the roof. Maybe in the morning. Matter of fact, I might just cut down this birch and let's just hope I get some saplings from it. And then run into the house because it's getting dark and I'm scared. Right, here's our birch tree. Let's hope we get some saplings. No saplings. Oh, come on. Oh, was that one? Not a hundred percent certain. I got one sapling. Seriously? That's not a good return on my investment. What have you got there? Oh, I see arrows. Got to go and get them. I've got no way of making them. Oh, a creeper. That's scary. Go back this way because I don't want to mess with a creeper. And we will enclose all this. That's two. Actually, we want to probably go one more. And we'll put down the roof. And we're going to need more snow. And we'll just put on a roof. Which I'm going to have to put a slab over top. Purely so it's not spawnable. But also, I'm not 100% sure about the light sort of rules in bedrock. So I'm kind of inclined just to put another layer in anyway and I'm gonna run out of snow again are you the same guy or are you new and you one uh -huh. oh, drip leaf huh? you're a different one what can drip leaf get me not much I don't really worry about you and now I want to put slabs down I'm going to need a lot more. Right, so I've done the roof. I now need to close it up. Let's hope there's nothing nasty in here. Oh, close that. Close that. It is looking rather light, isn't it? Now the idea is that any mobs will wander around and fall through these trapdoors. It's not very dark. I'm wondering if the snow is transparent. And we'll drop down here. Take out that these torches. 
I really wish we were in Java, because if we were in Java, I could have a look at the light levels. Now, I'm hoping now that the ice is not exposed to the open sky, that I'll be able to um, break the ice, turn it into water, and it won't freeze up again. Goodness, it's dark already. Time to run home. Time to run home, mummy. Oh, goodness, there's, there's mobs right outside my house. Aha. I might die. Where'd he go? There he is. Oh, goodness gracious, that was scary. Oh, an emerald. I'm guessing that's from a fox. I'm not complaining. There's an enderman. If I get into my little enderman killing spot, I might be able to get myself an enderpearl. Let's see if it works. Where's the Enderman gone? Oh well, no Enderman. Oh, oh, I've got mobs inside the mob farm. That could be good. And I haven't even finished it yet. Gonna need a little bit more snow. Right, so first things first, I gotta seal up the back of this farm. There's spiders in there, that's a good sign. I'm going to seal up the front. Right, so it is working. I'm now getting mobs. So this is a good start. What I need to do now is work on decorating it. Now, have I got any trapdoors? I do. I wonder if I can put trapdoors here. to make it a little bit easier to get stuff. There we go. Make myself a little pathway. So I'm now going to work on prettying this up and I'll see you back here later. Oh, oh, I think I just got a carrot. I think I just got a carrot. Did I get a carrot? Did I get a carrot? Oh, I did get a carrot. Excited. 
I got a carrot. Happy days. Now, I have a confession to make. I've done a, a little bit off camera uh, from when you last were here. As you can see, I've now got a basement. Um, and it is day 85. But, oh, but what I've done is, oh, it's, is there any mask? Where, where's the sun? Where are we? Where are we? Uh, it's still daytime. A little bit i've had a couple of traders go past i've got myself some sunflowers i've got peonies yay um birch i can't remember if you guys knew i had birch i've got birch and i've slowly been growing that i've been expanding my uh my tree so i've now got a little bit of a forest um, and i haven't finished decorating the mob farm but i had an idea um i don't have the the kill area at the front anymore i've done something else and uh, I'll show you what that is. And to do that, we go back to the basement that we looked at before. Because I decided that I wanted an ability to be able to keep killing mobs without uh, worrying about the time of day. And um, so, look, this is my basement. There's nothing pretty just yet. But we come down here. And we have... The kill area for my mob farm. And the mobs come floating down here. And I kills him. And I've managed to pick myself up a potato. And I've also got a second um a second piece of iron. Which I'm very excited about. But more exciting is I've managed to get a couple of witches come through here and I've picked up some redstone. Oh, we've got a enderman somewhere. Um, yeah, I picked up uh, some redstone. So I'm on my way to getting what I need for uh, making a lava source block. And every now and then a zombie gets caught in the water and turns into a drowned. I've had that happen a... Oh, he saw me. Oh, there's a witchy. A witchy. Oh, <gasps> yay. Ha, ha, ha. And uh, when they get down to this spot down here, I can open up this bottom one and the mobs can't actually see me, which is really nice. So I can actually whack them through the, the floor and get the mobs. Come on, die, die. Give me some glowstone. What'd you get me? Give me anything? Nothing. And there's the... Glowing sacks. So that's uh, what we've got so far. I don't see witches very often. It's very disappointing. Come on, give me your gold. Give me your gold. So, yeah, I'll just keep working down here and we'll do a little bit of de decorating upstairs. Now, I'm going to do something really silly. I've got two pieces of iron and I'm going to use them to make some shears. Yes, I know. It's a waste of iron. But I want them for the decorations. So, I'm going to go and tear apart some trees because I can use this to decorate my base and it'll make things look a little bit nicer and let's face it I'm not short of oak now so ripping apart this tree and not getting the saplings isn't going to hurt me Oh, what do we got over here? Need some dirt. You by yourself, mate? Are ya? Looks like you are. You gonna come at me? Come on, come get me. 
And I just got rid of the moo cow effect too. You gonna give me an emerald? No, but I got another banner. Which I can add to my decorations. No friends. And I've got the moo cow effect again. And I did it again. Ah! So, Gob, how'd you die? I died by berry bush after falling. What time of day it is. Let's hang out till the next morning, eh? If we go to sleep and at least we'll get rid of a snowstorm. I do love the look of the snow, though. Hello, what have you got for me? <coughs> Ooh, dripstone. For the princely sum of one emerald. What can I do with dripstone? You know what? I'll buy it just in case. Thank you, my friend. Oh, I need a dripstone. I need, actually need another one. Another two of them, don't I? There we go. And now I can use that to make things. What do you got? Bedtime. I'm really depleting my uh, emerald supplies, aren't I? Well, that's looking good. And there you go. I've done a little bit of decorating. Uh, I haven't gone all the way around yet. I'll get around to that later on. Uh, but I reckon it's time to call it a day. So there you go, one completed, decorated, or semi-decorated uh, mob farm in this wonderful, wonderful map called Snowed Over. And if you want to get it for yourself, just uh, have a look at the description of my link. It's from Dan Rob's Probs, uh, and it's uh, pretty, pretty addictive. If you liked the video, please give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, check out all my other content, and uh, I'll see you when we next come and do Snowed Over. And g'day, mate. How are you? <laughs> That's all i got time for today. Until next time, hooroo!